Hello everyone, welcome back. This is um second video for question two. Two question two A. The diagram shows a straight line intersecting two parallel lines. Find the value of A and the value of B. Of course, these two angles are on a straight line, so that is angle A and angle 38 degrees. Uh, on a straight line and from what you know angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees so we can use that to do this okay let's write somewhere here so that is a add 38 so that will be 180 degrees okay then a also 180 degrees minus 38 degrees so the value of a it goes to 142 degrees so 142 degrees then to get the value of b so you can make use of letter z okay that's alternate angles like this then come here and here so angle b and angle a are alternate angles okay so we can say that a equals to b as alternate angles okay so therefore so b will be equals to 142 degrees so you put 142 degrees here and alternatively uh, if you try to get the angle here, okay, if you try to get the angle here, so that will be angle A and, and, and this angle will be on a straight line, so they add up to 180 degrees, so that will give you 38 degrees. Alternatively, if you want to get this, so this will be equal to 38 degrees straight away, okay, so because they are vertically opposite angles, so here will be 38 degrees okay so if you get this angle then uh, this angle which is 38 degrees and angle b are co-interior angles so co-interior angles are found in letter c that is something like this from here and here so these two angles should add up to 180 degrees because they are co-interior angles so you still find out that angle B is also 142 degrees so there are many ways you could get the values of a and b uh, respectively okay so let's go to part b calculate the interior angle of a regular 12-sided um, polygon okay so you know for a polygon okay for instance let's just draw this like this then I'll this, let's say this is an interior angle of a polygon so the exterior angle will be this okay so if this is an interior and this is an exterior angle okay so these two angles add up to 180 degrees so it means that the sum of an interior and exterior um, angles okay is 180 degrees okay so that is one fact so since we have a regular 12-sided uh, polygon so it's easy to get one exterior angle because uh, since it is regular each exterior angle will be uh, that means all the exterior angles are equal okay so you have 12 sides and the sum of the uh, exterior angles okay is 360 degrees okay so that means one exterior angle equals to 360 degrees divided by two rough okay so this will give you 30 degrees okay so now you know that one um, exterior angle equals to 30 degrees now okay that is this one is equals to 30 degrees okay then uh, we can calculate one interior angle okay so one interior angle will be 180 degrees minus 30 degrees so one interior angle okay will be equals to 180 degrees 
minus 30 degrees okay so that will be um 150 degrees okay so this will be 150 degrees so that will be the solution to part b okay so let's go to um to c the diagram shows a circle center o so the points m n and p lie on the circumference of the circle um, a and B is a tangent to the circle at point M. Find the value of F and the value of G. Okay, so if you look at F, is here. So this um, angle F is produced by this uh, um, M P. Okay, so um, angle F and fifty six degrees. Uh, angles in alternate segments so you can see that angle f is equals to um, 56 uh, degrees that is angles in alternate segment so angles in alternate segments so i'll put 56 degrees here Okay, then to get the value of G, okay, so if you want to get the value of G, it's uh, pretty um, easy. So once you know this angle here, okay, this angle is equals to angle G because this and this are radii and you have an isosceles triangle and you know that the base angles of, the isosceles tri of an isosceles triangle uh, equal okay good so uh, one th uh, one thing we need to do here is to get angle p m o okay which is this angle so to get angle p m o so we can easily subtract uh 56 degrees from um 90 degrees because the whole of this angle here is 90 degrees the angle between uh, the radius and the tangent is 90 degrees okay so we can say p m o that is that angle okay will be equals to 90 degrees minus 56 degrees okay and that will be equals to 34 degrees okay and we know that p m o is equals to m p o okay so because there are base angles of this isosceles triangle so therefore so g is equals to uh, 34 degrees as um, m p o is equals to 34 degrees okay so that is the working you can say g is equals to 34 uh, degrees okay so let's go to 2D. The uh, diagram shows a cyclic letter. Find the value of K. Okay, so you can easily get this um, angle. Okay, you can easily get this angle. Okay, because uh, this will be uh, these three angles this, this, and this. Um, add up to 180 degrees okay so let's denote this by m okay if this is m uh, let's write this better so we have this angle and we have angle m here so consider that m is equals to 180 degrees minus um, 24 degrees minus 27 degrees okay so you see that the value of angle M is equal to 829 degrees, okay? So if this is 129, then you can easily get the value of K because uh, angle M and angle K add up to 180 degrees because they are supplementary, uh, they are supplementary angles. So therefore, we can say M add K equals to 180 degrees. The reason is... Uh, they are supplementary angles okay supplementary okay angles okay so opposite angles of a cyclic 
collector uh, supplementary so you can see that 129 at k equals 180 degrees and therefore the value of angle k will be equal to 180 degrees minus 129 degrees and the value of k goes to 51 degrees okay so you can see the value of angle k is 51 uh, degrees so this will be uh, the end of the solution to question two in the next uh, video i will solve all the questions in question that question three until then have your fingers crossed